Welcome to the Philippine Coconut Authority Laboratory Services Division. In this video, we will show you the general process flow of desiccated coconut or DCM samples submitted for analysis. Sample receiving is done at the second floor of the laboratory building in the PCA central office. For DCN samples, a minimum of 500 gram sample is required. The customer will be asked to fill out the customer's contract and the LSD staff prepares the test request and order of payment. The recommended parameters to be tested are based on the Philippine National Standards for Desiccated Coconut. For the complete microbiological analysis, there is the aerobic plate count, yeast and molds count, coliform count, salmonella, and E. coli. For the chemical analysis, there is moisture, oil content, free fatty acid, sulfur dioxide, and aflatoxin. During sample receiving, a unique laboratory code is assigned for each sample and a corresponding sample tag is placed on the sample to ensure confidentiality and impartiality. The sample is then routed to the respective laboratories, firstly for microbiological analysis. Before analysis, media are prepared and materials are sterilized. In media preparation, the media powder is weighed, then reagent water is added. pH is monitored and adjusted using either sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid solution to achieve desired pH. Media are heated before dispensing and sterilized in the autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Glassware such as plates and pipettes are sterilized using dry heat sterilization. Cotton plug is put on the pipettes before sterilization. The plates and pipettes are put into a metal canister which is then placed inside the oven and sterilized at 180 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. Prior to the analysis, sterile plates and tubes are arranged on the table and are properly labeled. At the start of the analysis, sample is weighed and diluted. It is then homogenized using the stomacher. Diluted sample is dispensed in the plates and tube. Tempered agar is then poured into the plates with sample. It is whirled and allowed to set. Alternatively, for sample dispensing and agar plating, the conventional method using open flame may be used. Once the agar has set, the plates are put inside the incubator to optimize the growth of the microorganisms. Incubation time depends on the parameter. For aerobic plate count and coliform count, 48 hours. For yeast and molds count, 5 to 7 days. After incubation, the plates and tubes are read using a colony counter. Some analyses like coliform and E. coli needs confirmatory process. Alico from positive tubes are put into brilliant green bile broth and E. coli broth tubes and then incubated. Tubes are then read for growth and gas production. After the analysis, used test tubes and glassware are decontaminated to kill all microorganisms present. For the chemical analysis, moisture is determined using the open drying method. Oil content is determined using ANCOM technology method. The sample is weighed in filter bags and oil is extracted using the ANCOM fat analyzer. For free fatty acid or FFA analysis, solvent extraction is performed prior using petroleum ether to extract the oil from the solid sample. FFA is then determined using acid-base titration. Sulfur dioxide is determined using the optimized Monier williams method which involves reflux or distillation reaction utilizing nitrogen gas, then subsequent acid-base titration to determine the sulfide content. For aflatoxin analysis, the sample is weighed and blended with methanol water extracting solvent. 
The mixture is then filtered to collect the filtrate which will undergo immunoaffinity cleanup through dilution, separation, washing, then elution of aflatoxin into clean vials. Samples are then analyzed by reversed phase high performance liquid chromatography with post column brumination through an electrochemical cell prior to fluorescence detector. Upon completion of the analysis, results are written on the test request and the test report is prepared by the LSD staff and signed by the laboratory manager. Afterward, the customer is notified of the availability of the test report. Customers may claim the hard copy of the reports at the second floor of the laboratory building in the PCA central office. That's it for the process flow of DCM samples. For inquiries, you may email us at lsd at pca.gov.ph.